morning folks on this Saturday morning. It's a bit wet here in Cornwall and uh, well, a bit wet. It's actually raining out there now. Um, meant to be going to work today with my brother, but oh uh, gosh, I'm not sure. It's not looking great. Anyway, folks, I'm going to add occasionally uh, a video for the daily cards. It's the Spirit Oracle deck and uh, just for, for a change. Uh, so let's see where it goes. Daily blog. Uh, and bear in mind, these cards are thought provoking. They're here to suggest to the mind um, possibilities on introducing a new way of thinking or a new ingredients in life. So they're, they're thought, they're generalization. They're not like set in stone. Uh, it is just one card. Now, I don't believe in chance. I don't believe in coincidence. I think everything everything has its place so we've got the cards here so i've gave them a a kind of a reasonable ship i feel they're right where they are and um so i'm going to work with this and i'm just going to fan them out and we're just going to pick a pick a card off the top and the card we've picked off the top is the card of communication here we go the card of communication quite an interesting one because i can read my cards spiritually but because my readings are kind of labeled psychic readings and i and i know the word psychic is uh, to be a psychic is a bit frowned upon it's not the best word to use but basically you know the word psychic represents soul it represents the mind it represents your intuition the soul it's it's a combination of all these things that are working upon the physical earth here where we live so it's a brown card so any brown card or an earth card or within the deck does represent an element of where it's, it's a bit of a hard color even though it's a very secure color it's for security uh, it's a very comforting um it's a little bit like you know when we're in our home in the winter's day and the fire's lit and we're snuggled onto a couch it's a very nurturing caring color but it's also a very hard working color uh so again a suggestions of where uh, the element of overcoming that element or having rolling up the sleeves as I call it and addressing things you know it doesn't get done unless one does it so let's not hang about with it let's get on and, and do things so on one side you know it's a it's a little bit of a niggly color but it's uh it's a very secure color so I guess in a way what it's trying to say is it's about creating the securities or getting things done when we actually get into the card of communication uh, and it does carry that spiritual aspect because we have this chief, this Native American chief, kind of like, I don't know if the camera can actually focus on that. It's quite a shiny card. Um, but he's kind of calling to the great spirit. But the kind of communication, you know, so it is that spiritual aspect. But what it's also about is communication ourself and, you know, how we present ourselves. Now, it's fine one being happy with how we present ourselves. So I know I could be very happy with me and how I'm presenting myself, but but am I working within the world? You know, how I'm perceived on the other side of the coin, because there's two sides of a coin. There's two sides to everything in life. So even though I might be happy with me, but but how I, am I being perceived and is it creating happiness for me? So the card of communication is, is a great card because we are in control of who we are. You know, we present ourselves to the world every day. And it's not just a physical aspect. It's also, I always say there's there's 10 forms of communication. Don't ask me to say the 10 forms because it's just, a, you know, it's, it's just a figure of speech. But there's 10 forms of communication before I actually open my mouth. So the minute I turn up on my bright green van, and the minute I get out of my car, the minute how I carry myself, how I stand, am I standing in my part? Am I wore out and depleted? You know, am I, am I, have I gone inwards? You know, have I retreated in? Have I shrunk in life? So communication carries a very powerful element regarding that. And, you know, I guess the, because it's the law of attraction, bear in mind, we are dealing with the law of attraction. So, what we give out, we get back. And I know it's not just as simple as that, because if everyone is giving out what they get back, obviously each and every one is influenced by others around us. So it's not quite as simple as just the law of attraction, but it does play a huge part within this. So how I conduct myself is the card of communication. You know, how do I promote the positive element? You know, it's again, you know, when we talk, it's like, you, the words we use can be very uplifting or they can be very disempowering. 
So it's kind of like, you know, we can disempower it. It's, it's so, and you know, and I guess in a way we can even be controlled by a stranger. But besides that point, the card of communication is about oneself. How do we promote that and bring that about? And having the awareness, because bear in mind, we, we're kind of like, in a way, the mind loves a pattern. The love mind's working with a, a mindset. And when the set of the mind is in place and it's working in a very productive, positive way, that's great. The aim then is not to change that element. But if the, if the pattern or the mindset isn't working, the, you know, the, the bounce back from what we're giving out is not exactly working for us in life. We have to think about that. And, you know, we can't blame it on everyone else and everything else. So I work with the rule of three. The rule of three is that, you know, if three times that I have aggro from other people, I, I have to stop and look at myself. I can't keep saying it's the world. I can't keep blaming my past and situations. I'm responsible for me. And it's taking those elements into play. So communication is a little bit like, it's a wonderful card because we also have the opportunity. And if I just grab a, a board here, this board is just a white board. If I hold the white board against the white background, it doesn't really stand out. And the more I place it back against the background, the more it kind of fades away. And people can be like that themselves. They, they want to disappear into the background. They do not want to be seen or heard or anything. But life, and we're all allowed that in a moment of time, but life isn't always about that. Life sometimes is about coming forwards from this and stepping into our power or finding our power. Because a lot of people don't know what their actual power is at this moment. But each and every one of us has an element of power within. And it's all about finding ourselves. And I do believe it takes a lifetime to find who we are and what we are. But you see, with this going back to the board, there's always so much to talk about with a card. They, oh, there's so much energy within the deck. But, you know, th if this is me, I have the ability to do what I want with me. So I can keep it white. That's my free, that's my free will. My, my free will determines. And free will is a wonderful thing. But free will can also make a wrong decision, which we all do in life at times. But then it's about making another one. So the opportunity is this, you know. It's about putting something on here. So if this is me, it's about putting something on this board and creating it, whether it's just a, a splash of colour for today. But we have also got to observe because that splash of colour may not exactly work for us. So it's an element of trying to observe our own actions. Every action creates a reaction and observation plays a part within that. So the card of communication as a worldly card represents how are we communicating in the world. And it's not just about talking or speech, it's about presentation of who we are and also carrying that presentation. It's no good me, you know, kind of all dressed up if I'm kind of all slumped. We have to promote the positive in everything we do and we have to promote the positive with an open arms because if my arms are closed it actually I mean this just going back into this action this is kind of security this kind of looks after me in some ways we could say this is like self-nurturing self-care and you know we can all go through times in life where we feel we've had a kicking you know, we can feel our energy is low, but the most important thing is when our energy is low, and it's the most scariest thing to do, we have to present ourselves to the world even more. So anyway, just that, I, I kind of like, uh, I've gone up now to oh, nine minutes. I definitely don't want to go for 10. Anyway, have a great Saturday. Promote that positive energy. Do something different. Do something new with you, if you wish, that element of free will. Anyway, it's the Healing Weekend coming up next weekend so i shall see some old faces there and some new ones uh, have a great weekend shine that light and take care god bless bye